Chairman, this is um, Rick Camille's apartments. Um, they are current zoning is mixed use to include community, commercial, and multifamily use. Their proposed zoning change is to change the property from mixed use to a multifamily um, multifamily use. Uh, in 2000 and June 11, 2018, Ramington City Council um, voted on the following rezone request which was um, originally brought to the Planning Commission in 2017 um, to grant the rezone request with some additional conditions. Um, at that time, they also asked for a density increase um, from the allotted number of apartments of 90, um, 67 to 96 units and to convert the, um, the other space to um, 14,500 square feet. Their request today let me back up and say this, I'm sorry. The um, application was presented by staff in 2017, which is also the same application that the applicant proposed and they agreed upon at the, when the rezone was approved by city council. Um, as we all know, this is in our community, or excuse me, in our historic district of Remerton. Um, so that today they are asking for to change not only to change the rezone but to also um, take the commercial space and convert it into 16 additional one bedroom units. Um, with this request, the following factors should be considered: the frontage of West, on West Gordon Street, the potential impacts to the existing residential neighborhoods to the south and east. The potential impacts to the existing community commercial neighborhoods to the east. The president set and the um, pedestrian connections to the property to the east, Raymond Square parking lot. The potential traffic impact, the diminishment, diminishment, I think I speak this morning or this afternoon, of the potential uses allowed in the existing community commercial zoning and the um, potential increase of services rendered by first responders. Um, our first responders have responded to 15, or excuse me, 25 total calls. Um, I had that number wrote down. There were 12, um, excuse me, there were 25 uh, calls for um, police department, and there were 12 calls by our fire department since they opened up in August. Um, also, I'm sorry, sorry, just how many fire? 12. 12. Okay. Staff also um, advised the um, commission last um, week that a CO had not been issued. I had some wrong information. They were issued a CO for the residential um, floors, which were the first and second floor. So I wanted to correct that from last week's meeting. Um, since that time, um, our last meeting, I've also I've met with um, the applicant's um, attorney, and we have thrown some ideas back and forth, but none of them have moved forward with the ideas of potential ways to resolve the issue of maybe re, uh, reducing some of the residential to keep some of the commercial or just making it all residential at this time. Um, uh, so staff, overall staff is not supportive of and denies the proposed zone request, rezone request to construct a 112 unit multi-family complex and to convert the 14,500 square foot dedicated commercial area to 16 one-bedroom units and leasing office of 1,441 square feet, as it does not coincide with the city's current development standards with the Ramsey Zoning Ordinance. Our zoning ordinance does not allow for multi-family um, use in the community commercial district. Um, also, the proposed zoning or use is not suitable in view of the zoning and development of the adjacent nearby property. The proposed use will continue the increase of services rendered by public safety, but not limited to fire, police, and EMS. The proposed change will adversely influence existing conditions in the neighborhood or the city at large. The proposed change is out of scale with the needs of the neighborhood or the city of Remerton. That being said, the city um, as a whole would like to continue seeing commercial property or commercial uses within our city. Um, the, and that was one of the reasons, you know, when we discussed this back in 2017, that that was a very vital piece of property that we had in the city that was in our commercial area. That was the only vacant lot that we had. 
um, left in the city to be developed. And the proposed change could um, constitute or grant a special privilege to the individual owner as contrasted with the adjacent or nearby neighborhood or within the general public. <coughs> I'm sorry, lost in thought. Um, okay, thank you, Jessica. Did it miss yours? It's a very long night. Yes, sir. Uh, Jessica, did your presentation just, just then you said you had met to work out some different options? Could you share those options with us? Uh, yes, sir. Um, one of the options um, that we talked about was possibil the possibility of eight units at the backside, one bedroom, and then keeping eight. Um, eight units in the front for uh, commercial space, which was also an impromptu, informal meeting that um, staff had with the developers that was just kind of sketched out. Um, that, you know, that hasn't, um, they haven't decided, or excuse me, that's not an option that I don't believe that they were willing to take right now, and I, I don't want to speak for developers at all. Um, and then, you know, of course, the, well, the, and of course, the fact that they want to convert all that to one bedroom, 16 units, plus their one office space that they have there. Well, one follow-up question from last week at a work session. Uh, did you have the opportunity to check, because you mentioned, uh, I can't remember exactly, but it's either water taps or electric uh, meter bases to each one of those units. Did you check to see, was, was that one or is it multiple taps and meter bases? Okay, there was there's one main meter that goes to the complete structure. That's how we read for our residential. Off the road, off that meter, there were supposed to be one meter per um, commercial space, and those meters were not installed in, um, when the property was developed. That's an electric meter. Yes. No, excuse me, a water meter, sir. Water meter. And at which time, when that was found out that that was not, they were not installed, um, I spoke with one of the representatives from the project and advised them to hold off on installing <coughs> those water meters until after the commission and council had made their decision on whether or not to allow those units to be turned into full residential. It turns into residential, then they would not have to put individual meters for those residential units. Only if it stays commercial. Only if it stays commercial, yes, ma'am. <coughs> All right, are there any other questions for staff? All right, if not, I'll turn it over to the audience. Is there anyone tonight wishing to speak on behalf of the request? Please come forward, state your name. And address, please. Good evening, Commissioner. Bill Knight, 1007 North Patterson Street. I'm here on behalf of the applicant for your middle apartments. Uh, I thought we'd never get here. <laughs> <laughs> I applaud y'all for uh, doing a good job. It's about cases early. Um, so, yeah, we're here um, because there is retail space on the bottom floor. Uh, 14,500 square feet uh, that was intended to be retail originally. Uh, the project was conditioned on that. Uh, the applicant is having a hard time leasing that and cannot lease that space. And so we are back here to reconfigure that area and to ask the council to uh, commissioners and the regions of the council to allow the applicant to uh, redevelop this 16 one bedroom apartments. Um, just a little background, the owner purchased this property, of course there were, there were multiple variances and, and rezonings that uh, occurred in 2018. The owner closed on this property in September of 2018 and began construction. Uh, the build out was finished in the summer of 2019. And I think this is important, an additional $1 million spent developing that lower floor for retail use. Okay? So this is something that you know, the owner had, had good intentions of, of this working out and wanted to work out. But 
but uh, this, this property has been marketed as commercial space uh, for, for 18 months now um, by Trade Santos uh, building. Uh, marketing materials have been sent out, and you know we've got we've got a few bites here and there, um, but nothing that's materialized. Okay? Going back, I mentioned there's approximately uh, 14,500 square feet of retail space. There's about 1,500 square feet of that that is going to be the leasing office, okay? And that's the main bay uh, on the side that's closest to Major Road. Okay? So we've got about 12,500 square feet that are left to, uh, to lease out in case of commercial space. Um, I've got some materials that I would like to hand out from Mr. Santos. He is prepared. Uh, one is the marketing circular mm -hmm. for the space. I gave that to him. Yeah, okay. yeah, we did right. get that. Great. Right. All right. I'm not sure if that got in because I sent it earlier this morning. So if you'll look at that, there's a letter from Mr. Santos uh, explaining the efforts that he has made to contact tenants, both national tenants and local tenants uh, for this retail space. Um, you'll see in the marketing materials the space is, is marketed. Uh, at least $15 per square foot, which is the market rate here. Uh, it's, it's a newer space in the market rates. You know, the applicant um, has considered lower prices per square foot. In fact, there were two LOIs uh, per sign for $12 per square foot. That is never materialized by the tenant's loss there. So I, I want the commission to understand there have been real efforts here to try and get this done and over a significant period of time, not just since it was constructed, but when after the, the applicant bought the property and started developing it, because they knew that they were going to have um, You know, the problems we keep hearing from the tenants are higher traffic counts, we want, we want to be on day trip. Okay? And they want to be on a major arterial road uh, that abuts Fremington and Western Boston. Um, there's vacancies, as, as you probably know, but it lives in Dallas and Lowndes County. There are vacancies around the mall, which is a much more visible, high traffic area. Uh, here we're talking about a side road off the picture. Um, I also want to point out that there were discussions with the city of Remington to lease a significant amount of the space. Uh, I, I feel like very generous terms were offered to the city at $10 a square foot. Um, eight months, no rent. Uh, that, that never materialized. And I think, you know, no, I, I think the city had other ideas about the space. Uh, maybe they, they wanted to, to purchase a portion of the space. But efforts have been made in that regard. Um, no one wants to see they it's not good for the city of Remington, it's not good for the job. So, you know, we would ask that the zoning that's mixed use now, I mean, there's apartments already there, there's 96 units already there, that the zoning go to full multifamily uh, and not include retail space. So that's, that's the zoning in place. The, the variance um, is for density. Right now, Greenfield allows 12 units per acre. That's 67 units that were originally allowed. There was a variance given in 2018 to get it up to 96 units. Um, these are, so we're asking for 16 more units. 16 more units. There are three bedroom, two bedroom, or one bedroom units there now. All of these 16 additional units will be one bedroom units. We're talking about 16 not 48 people within you know, three bedroom units. Um, this is a much less intensive use than any retail use of the day. Restaurants, retail, the traffic coming in and out. Uh, you know, for restaurants, the sanitation, uh, grease, garbage, or about the household garbage, 16 feet. Probably less pull on the utilities. So, so it's a much less intensive use here. And density is really it's a misnomer, it's a misconception. And we're going from retail, commercial, 
to something much less intense than 16 to 1 vector density. 16 to 1. <coughs> Density is not an issue. Shouldn't be an issue. We're at 96, we're asking for 16 to 1. Um, the other thing, the only comparable apartment complex in Wilmington for this from the house, probably Jackson Square. Jackson Square has 80 units on 3.7 21 units forever. Mr. Knight, I hate to cut you short, but that was your time. Thank you. If there are any questions for me, I'm happy to answer. Yes. So just a bit, Mr. Knight, just a clarification. Uh, you, you mentioned that there was some communication between the developer and Raymerton about leasing three offices, and, and our information last week, and just a clarification here, is that they offered to buy three? No, they're <laughs> There has not been an offer to buy. There were, there were communications with the city of Remington on leasing a portion of the retail space for Remington city offices. Right. Um, those never materialized. There were terms presented at the city of Remington. They were never accepted. Um, and I can't speak for the city of Remington, but I, I, I think I've heard uh, the reason they weren't accepted is because the city of Remington they made a purchase in the space rather than leasing. And that's what we were told. Yeah. That's perfect. That's what I was And this is one of the signs that I was, you know, when this came through us back in 17, I was very excited about the concept of having the uh, commercial at the bottom floor and residential above, because I have first hand knowledge of towns like Virginia Tech or Michigan State. <coughs> and this type of format is all over. The commercial on baseball, it is really an awesome concept. It is. I just don't know if this is the location for it. I think everybody was excited. All right. Your question? Mr. Dunn, what's the offer you see now on your apartments that you've got? Oh, the occupancy, let's see. If I wrote that down. And if I didn't, I've got the developer here. I'm happy to ask them. <coughs> I don't know. Oh, so you know. Yeah. How much we're, we're residential we're ninety percent. Rate or the opposite numbers? The amount not the percentage of occupancy. Okay, it's ninety percent. Ninety percent, yeah. They do have a wait list for one day. Are y'all open for discussion on partial um, like was brought up earlier? You know, we talked about it, but I don't think it addresses the, the issue which is the fact that this commercial space, they're having real problems leasing. And so, you know, even if we do half of the build out for you know, residential and keep the other half commercial, I just don't think it, it addresses the issue. It's <coughs> a problem leasing that space. My fear is if you do the back side of that in residential and leave the front side commercial, that's only giving you one way in to a commercial building. Is that I mean a one to a commercial office or that's true as well. I mean I think there could be some development problems and just practical problems with uh, those spaces if they're retail on the front end. Okay. Any other questions for our presenter? All right. Thank you, Mr. Nigel. Thank y'all. We've exhausted our time for those wishing to speak uh, on behalf of this request, so I will transition over to those wishing to speak against the request. Is there anyone here tonight wishing to speak against this request? If not, I will return it back to the commissioners for any further discussion. I, I got a question for, for Raymerton, for the, uh, yes. for the representative from Raymerton. So let's assume that they leave it just like it is and it's voted down and you don't rent the commercial side of it. What's the option at that point in time? I don't leave know. them vacant and not? Well, I can tell you that locally in our community um, at Raymerton Square, there's not a vacancy. Um, there on Baytree Place, there's not a vacancy. Um, for resident, or excuse me, for commercial. Um, Plum Street, I believe there are a few vacancies on that street, and that's our primary district for our downtown district um, and commercial property. 
Uh, now down Bakery Road, I believe there is a office complex. There may be an office space that's vacant there. I'm not sure. I haven't went out and did um, <coughs> looked around. But as far as our heavy commercial area, there, as far as I'm aware, there aren't any vacancies. Jessica, do you feel like they've done their due diligence in trying to get tenants in there? I would like to abstain from that question. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Commissioners, do you have any other questions for staff? No, this is just perplexing. I mean, this was a great project. It was. Agreement. As far as I was concerned. It was I'm a great sorry, project. I'm just sorry y'all come to loggerheads because I don't, I don't know what the answer is. Obviously, the yeah. owners have a lot of money invested. And yes. I understand Remington's side yeah. as well. You want to maintain your commercial property. That's just, I can't think of that. That was my question. Where you know, in, in 2017, when we first brought this item to um, to the commission, staff um, and the developer, the, the original um development showed building A and building B both having commercial space. The developer then um, expressed concern about the commercial space. So there was, we met in the middle for one building to be left with the commercial space and that was building A. Correct. Um, so now they're, you know, coming back again asking for no commercial space. I think now I have a commercial space, the additional commercial space in Riverton could be detrimental to the fact that we are such a limited small community that we need every little bit of commercial space that we can possibly get. Commissioner Willis, did you have another comment? No, I'm thinking. I see my wheels turning. I do. You got that much All right. Well, if there's no other questions for staff, then I will call for a motion. Madam Chair, regarding RE 2019 01, mm -hmm. a, um, a rezoning yes. request, uh, it is with misgivings that I make a motion that we uh, recommend approval, I mean, the denial for the staff report uh, on this matter. Uh, I wish I knew the solution, but I don't. So I know that City of Remington's uh, asking for denials is probably what we should be doing. All right, so you are uphold the, uh, the city's request, right? Okay. No, no, that's good. All right. Do I have a second on that? Second. Second, Commissioner Ball. All right, is there any further discussion on that? Not, I'll call for the vote. All those voting in favor to deny the request as per Ringerton's request, please raise your right hand. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All those voting against the motion. One, two, three, four. Okay. Is that everybody? Did everybody vote? Yeah. Okay. So the motion carries to deny the request as per Ringerton's recommendation. Alrighty. So. The